What's up, everybody? <laughs> Make sure you have your fingers. There you go. Try to go. <clears throat> don't go too far because I don't want you to roll down the hill there. <laughs> you have your own black sheep over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So every, you know, every vote counts, right? By the way, welcome back to the YouTube video here, number two. Uh, well, this will probably be, well, YouTube video number two as far as being at the Booty House. Now, if you don't know already, uh, the big surprise is something that uh, I've been talking about a little bit to what we uh, what I was discussing with Mike, and I'm sure he was kind of wondering why. Okay, whatever. You know, the one thing on YouTube that YouTube is pretty much known for is uh, people doing their DVD updates. Well, most of the time, you see people do that at their house or, or do that, you know, whether it's in their car or in their home or whatever. They show kind of the, the latest DVDs that they got or whatever. But I know for a fact, I've been doing a lot of research and stuff, like nobody has ever done a DVD update, you know, from this location anyway, or ever, ever thought about it. So that makes me, unless somebody can prove me wrong, that makes me the first person uh, to be doing a DVD update. This is a small DVD update, not a big one. I just bought a few movies that have the, since we're on vacation, to kind of have that vacation theme anyway. Uh, anyway, it's never been done from this location before. So, that means something. That's, that, that's rewriting history. Well, the guy, Sean C. Phillips, was the first person to, to start doing the DVD updates or whatever, but he never, he never, uh, he's never done it from like an actual movie location as far as I can remember. Anyway, so, you guys are out the Goody House. Try to zoom in if you can a little bit. So we are doing a DVD update. That's the big surprise. I know some people will probably be disappointed, but I don't think I think people who really uh, dig what we're doing will really find this pretty impressive. So I brought a few DVDs for my own personal collection that I probably haven't viewed before because we're out of vacation. I thought it'd be kind of fun to, to have it be on a vacation theme. How's it looking? It's looking pretty good. Okay. You can see me and everything. Oh yeah. Okay. Where this will be unedited too, by the way, because I. We don't have a, I, don't, I didn't bring my editing software with me, so we're just going to make like one shot video, so whatever happens, kind of happens. Hopefully it won't be too windy. But anyway, it's a vacation theme, and since we're here at the Goody House, I want to be the first person to, to actually do a DVD update from the house, so here we go. First DVD that I am going to show you has to do with vacation, uh, was filmed two years ago, in, uh, well, my good friend, Sean C. Phillips. I'm to get a zoom on that for a minute. My good friend Sean C. Phillips and uh, his uh, buddy at the time, MJ and Kelly, did something kind of like what we're doing, uh, but they uh, did cross country. And this uh, movie is called the Around the Country, uh, by Sean C. Phillips and MJ and Kelly. And they went from Dallas, Maryland, all the way to San Diego. And it's a very good, you know, I've watched it a couple of times. Mike hasn't seen this yet, but we'll probably watch it later on today or whatever. But it's a very good, you know, good film. It talks about the experiences and and the, the good times and the bad times that they have while, while they're uh, 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 going on their cross-country adventure. And everything that they did was kind of unscripted, besides a couple things. So I won't give away what those things are. Uh, the DVD, I think it's still available. Uh, comes with a nice case and everything. You know, nice back case. Somebody actually did the artwork for this. And uh, what I like, too, is that they were able to, to get it so there, there's a case somewhere with uh, artwork on the disc. That I like. If we ever decide to put our documentary on DVD, I'd love somebody to do this for me. Something illustrated here. Anyway. So, it's called Around the Country, and it's starring Chauncey Phillips and MJ Kelly. It's a very good hour and a half, hour and, yeah, about an hour and a half, or hour and 40 minute documentary. Uh, short enough, of, you know, of course, but it's uh, something that I would definitely recommend. Second one for vacation is what uh, came out uh, last year. Uh, my buddy Wet Movie One, who has never been to the Goonie House, I know he said he wanted to come with us. Uh, well, he would have loved to come with us at the time, but I, uh, I think I, I don't even know what happened with that. I think he just, you know, he couldn't make it because of, I think he was a job for Blockbuster or something like that, so plus, you know, closing down the Blockbuster or all that stuff, or something like that, anyway. Anyway, this movie is something that I did my first cameo in. It's called Out and About the Movie. Uh, when, Sean, when uh, 
Sean, she built us a, uh, uh, vlogs uh, or like videos or whatever. He calls them around the town. So he calls them around the country, you know, moving around the country. Yeah. Now, so a wet movie, uh, Brandon Mitchell, he uh, calls his vlogs out and about. He just goes out and does stuff in the town or whatever. Well, last year they made a movie and that I had a cameo in and they were going to Vegas because they, they won some, what was it, $10,000 for a uh, music video contest or whatever. And uh, Brennan's not really, you know, I don't want to bring up his financial life or whatever, but, you know, they're not, he's not the richest guy in the world, but he always wanted to go to Vegas. And and he finally got a chance to with his buddy game and also Sean C. Phillips as well. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, it's pretty much similar to the around the, the country, except just more set in Vegas. And all the things that they got to do while they're in Vegas, kind of like what we're doing here for our documentary. So, out and about the movie. It's uh, Las Vegas. Hopefully, you know, it would be kind of funny if he does this again sometime, you know, to put something like this on DVD. Because it comes with some bonus features and also uh, uh, commentary. There's a commentary track. While you watch the, the movie, you can listen to the commentary. Uh, with him and a uh, guy by the name of Artist Version 1. So, very cool. And just the fact to say that I'm a part of this. Now, I like the one with Sean C. Phillips and MJ Kelly. There's no, there's no CD labels or nothing, but... Or no uh, covers, or but it's still, it's still fun anyway. You know, sometimes it's not about what you produce, it's or what it looks like on the outside. It's what it looks like on the inside that really matters. Really. So anyway, so that's about out about the movie. And the big one here now, because I'm a very, I'm a big fan of history. Obviously, it was one reason why we're here, but also a big fan of just, uh, you know, I like Larry the Cable Guy. I don't know, we're going to be getting volume 2 sooner or later, because I know it just came out. It's only in America, from Larry the Cable Guy. It's uh, pretty much, you have never seen the show on History Channel. You've seen this before, have you, before, Mike? Yeah, I think I've seen it somewhat. A couple somewhat. a little bit. Uh, well, anyway, he, he goes around, uh, he picks, like, uh, spots around America, pretty much. And, uh, because his, his philosophy is, you know, nowadays, you know, in media, it, it, uh, there's so much negative... You know, there's a lot of negativity in the news lot, and, and he wanted to make sure that he got to show things that were positive and people don't normally talk about uh, when it comes to the news or whatever. Uh, so he, he picks random places to go, like he makes moonshine, or Larry goes to the swamp, Larry shoots guns, or Larry gets a gator, or, <laughs> or he learns something about manners or whatever. It's very, it's almost like the next set here that I'm going to show here after both of uh, uh, Dirty Drops, kind of similar to that, but uh, it's just him going cross country to just random locations and the show has become very popular that they're still making new episodes as we speak and I hope they keep it going because there's so much, you know, so much beauty in America, it's just unbelievable what you can, what you find in everything. So, only in America, Larry the Cable Guy, on a special edition of Frankie's DVD update, <laughs> the Julie House. First time I've ever been done. Nobody's ever done this before. And last, but certainly not least, Mike and I's personal favorite, <laughs> Dirty Jobs, with Mike Rowe. Volume 3. Reflection <laughs> <laughs> box. It's a two disc, I think it's a two DVD set. Anyway, it's uh, it's pretty interesting with this one, this one here because uh, it's, it's just like the... Uh, only in America with Larry the Cable Guy, but it's, yep. it's humor there, but he's going to all these different jobs that are like stuff that we wouldn't really, well, I think our job can kind of be called dirty job in a way, but you know, it depends on what we deal with. <laughs> I won't go into that. But anyway, uh, it's just kind of, it's kind of cool because of the fact that he, you know, he, most people wouldn't want to do stuff like this. Like there's like uh, a snake wrangler. Would that be a job you want to do with a bike? Be a snake wrangler? No. Or be an odor eater or something? Ew. Or, <laughs> or an alligator egg collector? <laughs> <laughs> or how about, a, well, how about a cranberry farmer? Would you like to be a cranberry farmer? Oh, well, it won't be too bad, <laughs> I guess. Like those ocean spray commercials? Yeah. On the farm or whatever? And the, the cranberries are filled with water in the lake or whatever? Yep. That's what, the, the, that's what he does or whatever one episode. How about a brick maker? <laughs> no. How about a uh, mud mineral excavator? <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, this is. How about a vomit island worker? <laughs> no. no. Fish farmer? Well, it's, there's probably some people that do that around here, probably. How about a leather tanner? Or a jug maker? No. 
They could literally go up to somebody and say, hey, nice jugs. <laughs> Jeez. Without them taking it personal. <laughs> anyway, so it's, I got the first three volumes anyway. I, they got up to volume seven, I believe, as far as uh, the Dirty Jobs show. But it's a very good show, very good, very funny. And you're also learning as well as laughing. And that's what I like. You know, it's, you know he, he mixes humor with the, the fact that he almost looks like Jim Barney. You know, a, a carbon, carbon copy of uh, Ernest P. World, yep. Jim Barney. And the fact that he's uh, still doing this to this day as we speak. So, he also does the Ford commercials, too. Yep. <laughs> so, anyway, so that is that. So, I want to thank Mike, you know, personally for being my camera guy. And the fact that if we can't get a tour of the Goody House, it will be in our documentary. It won't be on YouTube. Uh, we'll put this in our, in our long documentary, as well as a few other surprises that we've already done so far, uh, according to the documentary. But as far as this YouTube video, this was something that was special to me because I wanted to, I wanted to do this. You know, and it's a beautiful day. I want to thank you know the people that I, you know, especially like Sean C. Phillips, the guy who, who started the idea uh, to do a, a DVD update from the Goody House, or not the Goody House, just DVD updates alone. Uh, that something like that's like trending. You know, people do it all the time now. It's a thing that will never. It's a fade that'll never fade out, or a fad that'll never fade out. Pe you know, people are continuing to do it now with DVDs and Blu-rays and everything. And uh, what movie? My good friend Brandon Mitchell. Uh, sorry you couldn't be here with us, but uh, I figure I bring you in spirit anyway. If we're we're showing your movie, uh, not just because I was in a cameo, but mostly because uh, I figure if you could come with me, at least I could do you the big favor of. Put your, bring your movie over here and, and at least have it in the update anyway. Uh, and then, you know, just thank, you know, like I was saying in the, the part one of the video, uh, just thanking everybody for just uh, being cool and everything. And uh, we've gained some fans because of this, because uh, of our documentary on Facebook anyway. And so uh, I just hope that it turns out well that people, that maybe this would be something that people want to buy eventually when, it, when it's done. Uh, but anyway, so we're here at the Goody House. Frank is lost here with my good friend Mike and uh thanks for everything. <laughs> See you in the next YouTube vlog.